Well, in the last video, what I showed you was um, the seed starting light that I built. And the reason I went ahead and did that video now is I just moved a whole bunch of seeds that have been started out of there. Among those are these uh, five plots with Swiss chard in them. These are um, a, a red and a golden variety of Swiss chard. And uh, they're not something you ne necessarily need to start uh, from, from seed inside, but it does help you kind of get a jump start on things. And seeds will generally germinate much better indoors in warmth than they will outside in the cold this time of year. So that was another reason that I did that. So what I wanted to talk to you about today, though, and we'll kind of take one of these that's got the biggest example of it. If you look here, you'll see that these are growing very well. They have nice leaves on them, but they're kind of floppy. They've kind of flopped over. Now, the reason that they've done that is that they were kind of crammed in that grow light set. And these guys, since they're a little bit hardier and would handle it, I kind of put them out around the peripheral edges. So they were kind of reaching for the light, so to speak, uh, because I was packing the light to capacity. I had a bunch of other things growing in there. Now, there's nothing wrong with this. And you'll notice something. There's a space. It's a space of about a half inch from the top. I never fill my containers for this exact reason. Sometimes plants go into a little bit of overdrive. So what you do, I'm not ready to put these in the ground yet. Now, they would actually transplant fairly well, and that would solve the problem. I'm just not ready to put them in the ground yet. I'm actually probably going. I've already got quite a bit in the ground. I'm probably going to give a couple of these away, and I just need them to be in their pots for a little bit longer. So all you do is come in and add just a little bit of potting soil. And it's not really, you know, a big deal. And it's something I think a lot of people that garden know how to do. The important thing is, if I hadn't left that little bit of headspace, I'll have to, I usually do this in a pot, uh, so I don't have to clean things up, but... Uh, I wanted you to be able to see it. And that's why I've got the focus so tight here. I'm alone today, no camera woman to help me. So I have to do everything myself so you don't get to see my face, which I don't think is really that great. I have a really good face for, for podcasting, uh, audio podcasting, that is. Yeah, I've got one of those faces that's, uh, that's made for radio, as they say. But if you see now, the plants are nicely uh, protected with a full layer of soil. And I won't do the rest of them for you because you don't need to watch me do that. But this is something you can do when you're starting your seeds that will help a lot. Again, just leave a gap. As you can see, again, these guys are flopped over a little bit. Leave a gap. And if you get any of this kind of too rapid of a growth that you need to shore up, then you have some space you can come in and backfill. Try that when you're starting your plants. I don't care whether you're in bigger pots like these or the little peat pots. It'll help you a lot. This has been Jack Spirico with another Survival Podcast video.